So this is the second part of the top of the playfield teardown. In the last episode, we covered the lower playfield and the ramps, this time the upper playfield and the pop bumpers. Lane five is top left. Next bag, bag six. It's got a bolt on it at the bottom.
These are going to T nuts, so they're super quick and easy to to remove. These are probably attached underneath the play film. Let's have a look. Yep, just simple. These will need to be hammered out as well. Just using a simple 3 8 Night dryer. Let me get these out. That is a little bit irritating. This one. These come up fine, but this one you can't access until you've removed this scoop. Let's hammer this one out. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one in because it, to, to get that out is a bit tricky. And I am going to go on to the next bag. Bag seven is going to be this section of the cross bumpers here. So let's get that set up. Bag number. 
bag number seven. Another great piece of equipment in this game. So I'm sick of fighting for which of these bits is right. So I saw this on a video and I can't remember who it was. Somebody from one of the techs at Jersey Jack. Basically color code your tools. So this is my, my quarter inch driver and this is my 5 sixteenths which is yellow and then my 3 eighths which is blue. So what I'm going to do, I don't have yellow tape but I've got red and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit of red tape on my quarter inch at the very bottom. Just a very thin stripe. So now I know I can see it very clearly. Quarter inch, in it pops, done. Um, what other colours do I have? I've got green, I've got black, I've got white. Here's the white instead of yellow. I can just about remember that. Now I'm going to use black for the three eighths. Where were we? Leave the pop bumpers. That 
might not be not sure what that is. Uh, that's a quarter inch. Let's get this out. Create a bag just for the pops, actually. Do that. Bag eight. Now that I've got the pops off, I am going to take this out. Get the out. Seven, pretty much done. Oh, I can put that in there as well. It's Two. That's been plugged in. Okay. Bag seven's big bag. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the pop bumper solenoids on, but I'm just gonna remove 
the top of the on the top of the plate. Okay, so to get the pop bumpers out, you need to first remove the screws, the two screws that are located at the bottom. Let's screw the whoops, pop bumper unit in. So that, that's the two screws. Let's get those out. One. Now what you're going to find is that this isn't going to come out because these the light sockets are actually soldered in place. So you've actually got to desolder. So this is the other side of the pop bumper that I've um, just removed. I have previously removed this off. So the point is that these metal um, leads basically that go in are the same leads that are holding it in now, so that's all that's holding it in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to then go in and desolder that. The little protection there to stop it from short circuiting, but let's just take a picture. That is right now, what we're going to do is going to basically desolder this. If you haven't seen my video on my little battery powered TS100 soldering iron, you really should. This is an awesome little soldering iron. I've got it hooked up to a 14 volt battery um, it, and a nice long cable. For working on this, it's just brilliant. So um, if you set this, if you set this, you'll see how quickly it goes to, up to temperature. It's currently at nothing, and up it goes. 90 already and we're aiming for just over 300 so I've just unplugged it 240, 250 so it's super quick to heat up uh, it's a really good soldering iron especially for looking at this sort of thing and literally here we go we're ready to solder And we're going to desolder these wires and then we can re remove the staples and literally I can unplug this now and um, that's the beauty of using a little battery power soldering thing. I'll put the um, I'll put the video for the soldering iron up there those are loose I'm gonna actually Draw, put these together with some tape and label it. Pop to light um, flasher. Pop to lights. Okay. So now that the desoldering is done, I just have to remove these staples. So a little small screwdriver also works a pretty good job at getting the staples out. They really are a pain. Don't know, I still don't know why they're used. Remove it. They always have bloody awkward places. 
literally, you don't, you don't need to, you just got to lift them up just enough to loosen this out. That one's almost loose enough. Okay. And now that, that that's loose, that just pops right out. So there you go, I'm gonna pop that in the bag. And I'll do the other two quickly now, I'll save you the hassle. The play field pretty much clear now. Pop's gone, everything done. So I've gotta get rid of that post underneath the coffin. That I can't get unless the coffin's gone. I've gotta get rid of the post next to the crate because you can't get that gone. And then the big orbit, I'm going to get rid of those, and then the wire guides here, here, and here. Get rid of those. And then maybe the rails. So one, two, and three rails. And then we'll be done with the top side of the playfield. And then it's a matter of just attacking the base of the playfield. So I'm going to start by just taking out this orbit. One, two, three. There's one underneath there. So I'm going to really have to get the coffin out. Four. one down here. So really I'm going to have to get this coffin out. I'm going to start another bag. So let's go bag nine. So I'm going to have to get this coffin out. I have no idea how it fits together. Um, so that's that. Let me get, try and get these out, see if they come up easily. Just a bit of leverage under each one and just, yeah, that comes out nicely. Yeah. That's one. Now I'm going to label these because these rails, I think, it won't be that hard to confuse them. One. That's done. That one's loose already. These ones. where the whole coffin unit is. Plate here. I'm trying to understand how this is all attached, how it's gonna come loose. So maybe maybe it's a matter of removing this bracket here and then the whole thing just slides up that way. Okay. Let's remove this first. So there's obviously nuts on the other side of these so that's pretty easy okay so bag 10 coffin let's get this in and 
Let's do it. Manually with a long. Again, these are all going into. Actually, no, they're not all going into T nuts. There's a mix of T nuts and screws. So, I've got one T nut and two wood screws. This is the T-nut one, the first one. Yep, and that just slips out. Now, there is, <laughs> there are two connectors on here, but I haven't actually labeled them. Okay, so we can remove that, and then the whole unit just pops out like that. It's actually in quite good nick, this unit. Unlike some of the others, there's a bit of a hack job on some of the wiring on the optos. Let us, now that we've got the coffin out, let's try to get that last... Where's that post? The... That post has just dropped out, so I'm going to go and pop that. So that post was in there. Um, and then we just need to remove this. Orbit. Okay, that's that. Our oh, bag nine is a bit sad, and the orbit is a bit sad. So now that I've got this little post out next to the coffin, I'll put that in. Bag number three next to the coffin. So the last thing we've got to do is, is probably remove the crate. Let's have a look. Some really crappy screws here. Uh, so there's actually a couple of mechs here. Okay. So that is the scoop. This is bag eleven. Uh, I'm going to call it crate scoop. So we'll create another bag for this one. removed. Actually can get this in the bag 11 with the crate scoop. At least we can associate the two together. Okay. Okay. Last piece on the play field. Gripping it with a pair of pliers on the other side. Tap with a hammer. So that is the last piece of the top of the playfield out. I actually am thinking I'm going to take the crate out as well. 
which is your crate. This is on a non-standard pinball screw here. Bag 12. Okay. So that is everything off of the play field. So we just got the flippers. We've got the slingshots switches, a couple of targets there, everything else comes in from the bottom and um, I suppose these rails, wood rails can come off but ready to head tack the bottom tomorrow. In the next episode we're going to start tearing down the bottom of the playfield. Thanks very much for watching.